The number of patients in the UK that have to wait over six weeks for a diagnosis has increased 17% annually since 2010. This means that people like you and me have to wait much longer to find out if we have cancer or not. But why does the process take so long? Let's look at the current method. The process begins with a doctor taking a tissue biopsy from the patient. This sample is then sent to a pathology lab where it begins its preparation stage. The tissue is cut into thin sections, stained and put onto glass slides. The sample is then referred to a histopathologist. That's someone who specialises in diagnosing diseases. They examine the sample and make a diagnosis. If they're unsure, the sample is packaged and sent to another histopathologist for a second opinion. The package could be sent to another town, another city or even out of the country. This increases the waiting time by days or even weeks. This can result in unnecessary pressure and stress being added onto patients. Surely, with all the technology we have today, there must be a faster way of diagnosis. Luckily for us, there is a technology that could make a difference. Digital pathology. If we go back to where we started, instead of the tissue sample being packaged and sent away, the sample is digitally scanned and uploaded onto a secure server where only verified pathologists can access it. The easy accessibility means that other pathologists can come together and collaborate in giving their opinions and suggestions. The pathologists can also examine the sample in great detail and make notes and highlight areas, aiding the communication between pathologists. Going digital can significantly reduce the diagnosis time. This means that patients can get their results much quicker than traditional methods and can begin treatment much earlier if necessary. So now, let's talk about the possibilities that digital pathology can support. With the current advancements of computing technology, pathologists could soon utilize the power of artificial intelligence, helping them to achieve a faster, more precise diagnosis. Artificial intelligence could help assist with identifying abnormal tissue or cancer, with quantifying the severity of disease, and it could help support a more personalized approach to treatment. This streamlined approach will improve diagnostic workflow for pathologists, improved support services for patients, better task prioritization, and helping assist pathologists in diagnosis. Why do we need digital pathology to be widely used across the NHS? In England alone, 13 million histopathology slides are examined each year. Since 2007, there has been a rising demand for diagnostic tests. This has coincided with a reduced pathology workforce capacity. A recent survey by the Royal College of Pathologists discovered that only 3% of pathology departments had enough staff to deal with this increasing demand. For the NHS, digital pathology will help meet these challenges and will provide patients with faster results and better care. Digital pathology. The next step in achieving improved diagnostic services and results for patients.